Ah, The Ring, a 2002 classic. The story goes that a journalist must investigate a mysterious videotape which seems to cause the death of anyone in a week of viewing it. However, they decide to give this uh, odd twist with the new 2017 edition, Rings. Yeah, that's right, very innovative name. Hollywood, you're pretty lazy right now. This is how the story goes for this one. A young woman becomes worried about her boyfriend when he explores a dark subculture surrounding a mysterious videotape said to kill the watcher seven days after he has viewed it. Okay, I don't know why he... You know, that could have been, uh, you know, more specifically gendered. She sacrifices herself to save her boyfriend, and in doing so, makes a horrifying discovery. There is a movie within the movie that no one has ever seen before. Oh my gosh! I can already tell that this is going to be a bad movie. Alright, let's just go in and with the actual review. Alright, so, uh, guys, who's excited for Rings? I'm super know, excited I'm for not. Rings. Not really. Will I use Arrow? No, not at all. Yeah, uh, it seems like a pretty bad movie. Terrible. And you know what? These reviews here tell us what are the percentages you see. All right. Well, on the tomato meter, six percent. Oh, guys, yeah. dude, that's super fresh. And it's out of a hundred, so not out of ten. You know, because you know it's percent, so that makes no sense. The audience score though, fifty-two percent liked it. So, uh, you know, better than the critics. How many people liked it? Uh, fifty-two I mean, percent audience? about. Oh. Yeah. So three point two out of five. That's what the audience gave it. Whoa! Yeah. Groundbreaking scores. Yes, sir. All right, so uh, let's get on to the. Are there any good reviews for the movie at all? Uh, yeah, of course. There's one good review. Only one out of how many? Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like maybe eleven, twelve. Nice, dude. Yeah. It's like a one out of one. All right. All right. Let me read it. Fans of the franchise will probably be pleased. Dot dot dot. Too many horror sequels are content merely to recycle what worked the first time. So uh, I guess. He he liked it. I mean, it's not. I don't know. It's a love hate relationship. But he's a top critic though from the New York Times, so respect him. And then we got a. What? Got some, he's the New York Times reviewer. Come on, don't you know of Neil Gens Genzelinger? Who's that? Uh, New York Times top critic. But we got a bunch of bad reviews here. We got rings and bodies—a common problem of attempted franchise revivals. Indecision about its intentions. This other person says, it's not a terrible setup, but Rings doesn't end up doing much with its fresh ideas. Oof. Roasted. This other person said, I'm sorry, rotten. Ooh, ooh. It's just another thoughtless cash grab sequel in a horror movie franchise, Better Off Dead. Damn. That is true, because I mean, the Japanese version is way better. Plus, Hollywood is getting lazy. Yeah. I mean, look at all these, like, we have the It revival. I mean, who's going to want to watch that? And then, wasn't there another one? Oh, I don't know, is there? I don't know, but the Bye Bye Man doesn't seem very uh, pleasing. It's just the Bye Bye Man. I mean, <laughs> so this guy says, not the Rings is like a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of an old videotape. Garbled, faded, and impossible to watch. He's not a top critic, though, so I don't know if we could take his word for it, you know? But it doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter at all. His opinion does not matter. It doesn't matter, matter at all. Yeah. All right, so you guys heard it here. His opinion does not matter at all, even though he got paid to write this. Yeah, but whatever. What does he know? You want to know the cast? Yeah, let's hear the cast. All right. See if we know any of these people. We got Mathilda Anna Ingrid Lutz as Julia. Okay, I don't know who that is. Yeah, me neither. Alex Rowe as Holt. Oh, Johnny Galecki as Gabriel. Okay. Who's Johnny Galecki? Leonard from The Big Bang Theory. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> nope. Now he's, in ag now he's actually in a movie that embodies Big Bang Theory. Soulless, it'll kill you if you watch it. All right, we got Vincent D'Onofrio. As Burke, Amy T. Garden as Sky, spelled S K Y E. For anyone curious, very that's very pompous. I feel bad for her parents. Actually, no, blame the parents. We got Bonnie Morgan as Samara, Chuck David Willis as Blue, Patrick R. Walker as Jamal, Zach Warrig as Carter, Laura Wiggins as Faith, Lizzie Brochere as Kelly, Karen Kise as Flight Attendant, Dave Blamey as First Officer. Michael E. Sanders as pilot, Randall Ty Tyler of Holt's father. That's he's Holt's father. Can you believe it? And uh, on IMDb, wow. I got a 5.1 out of 10. 795 people. Uh, All right, so I guess that's uh, either they had more money to pay them or it's less bias. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the latter though. Uh, the director of this wonderful film is a uh, F. A. Javier Gutierrez. Uh, yeah, we got a Mexican dude. Can't believe it. It's amazing. Yo, nice. Hash hashtag not my culture like to hear the writers of this movie all right let's hear the writers of this movie all right we got david loca jacob estes for all you those who you don't know banish loco means crazy Whoa. and as a matter of fact this movie is driving me crazy it's driving me crazy as well that's rings based on how bad it is that's rings wow uh that's very uh not very uh excited you see the movie? are you uh, no i don't want to see actually. the movie at all yeah 
I don't think I want to see it. I it's won't. just another Hollywood cash grab. That's lazy. As the guy says, yeah. I the Japanese, so. yeah, exactly. Because I mean, like Hollywood is getting lazier and lazier. Like with the revival of it, you know, yeah. making Unfriended. I mean, I know that was a while back, but you know, still can't forget that. Such a bad movie. So yeah. The Rings. Okay. Now, what were the ratings of these movies? According to IMBD for Rings, the rating it gave it was a 5.1. The tomato meter, it got a, a whopping six percent. Hey, and um, the audience only half of them liked it. Only half of them liked it. Wow, so a little more, fifty-two percent. You know, come on. That's oh, okay, yeah, yeah, chance. that's right. We got to give the extra edge to the, you know, extra two percent. Yep, yep, All right. Yep. Under that half people regretted buying it, which I would too. Yeah. What did you? Doesn't I mean, look. Come on. What do you think is really gonna money. happen? What do you think is really? Gonna happen? I mean, come on. Just a bunch of jump scares. You know, all you right? saw it all in the trailer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, in seven days, people are gonna pass out forever huh that's rings guys oh, and by the way if you people were thinking of watching uh, a dog's life no not a dog's life a dog's purpose <laughs> a do dog's not life. as uh <laughs> it is at 34 percent on the tomato meter but you know what that's a whole new can of worms you and they get abuse into. the dogs but you know, know, know what you'll get into that in this video oh yeah that's true that they abuse it yeah we'll, we'll get into that later not right now though but yeah. but later so. later give it some time no clothing thoughts or words of wisdom um ad not worth money what were your initial thoughts when you saw this? This movie's gonna be terrible. And I, uh, I'm right, I guess. You know, when I saw this, I was like, hey, look, cash grab. Hey, you guys make I mean, your come own on, decision, look at the movie's you budget. Know? Watch your movies, and if you enjoy it, God bless you, you know? Papa bless you, you're a cool dude. If you don't, you're kind of normal. I know. If you don't, you have a, you know, decent sense of movies. But hey, go see and, it. Uh, don't get scared easy from, yeah. Helps Hollywood, right? Go see it. So why not? An hour and 42 Help minutes. Hollywood become lazy. Actually, it's an hour and 57 minutes. IMDb. So if you want to waste 42 uh, minutes. So, uh. Okay. All right, then. I guess we're at this discrepancy. Whatever. All right, well, then. All I got to say for the closing words is, uh, if you want to enable Hollywood, just go and see this movie. But if you don't, then, uh, God Rogue bless you, One please. again. Even though it's not in theaters anymore and is a year old. Not a year old, but okay. What do you mean? It's a oh, Rogue One. Oh, Rogue One. Okay. I thought you were talking about, uh, you know, the seventh movie no. that was also a cash grab. All right. Uh,. We don't need to talk about this, and you know we can we could talk of this other times, right? Yeah. yeah. By the way, guys, uh, if you do want to see a ring, though, I say you go watch the old one as it has a much higher rating and is even more popular. And it's made by Japanese people, and, uh, so you know it's good. Exactly, Japanese horror is always the best. All right, well, milk cartons. I have to say this built my milk. What about you? Yeah, all over all the right. place. I gotta go clean. I gotta go clean this up. All right. Yeah. So what for now?